I'm trained as a sociologist. My PhD is in um, sociology, but perhaps one of the most foundational books for me was Exit, Voice, and Loyalty, which is a book by um, an economist, Albert Hirschman. And his biography is inspiring in and of itself. He fled Nazi Germany, published initially as a development economist, and then wrote this book, which um, originally was designed, or its initial puzzle was, what do people do when firms or organizations are in decline? They have one of three options. They can exit, they can leave, they can take their business elsewhere, they can emigrate to another country, they can use their voice, speak up, actually try to influence or change the organization, or the third option was to exercise loyalty, which um, the idea behind that was you kind of stay quiet and remain loyal to, your, to the organization. But the reason this book was so um, inspirational and has been applied in so many different settings is that it helps us think through what citizens can do when, for example, their democracy is in decline, which is sort of my major area of um, focus. And Hirschman himself, as I said, was trained as an economist, but thought a lot about these questions about politics, about the state, about how exit voice and loyalty help us understand why people, when they're unsatisfied with a government service, will start their own private uh, version of that. They'll start uh, private schools or charter schools when they're unsatisfied with public schools rather than exercise voice and some loyalty to um, solve the kind of public problem that is underfunded schools. That's sort of a book that I think is a seminal, uh, work, seminal piece of work that really influenced me and also helped me think a lot about the role of the organization itself in linking people to one another and to these macro institutions like the state.